Have you ever found yourself caught in a cycle of negative thinking? You know those moments when one small mistake spirals into a storm of self-criticism or when a single piece of bad news makes you feel like the world is crashing down around you? We've all been there. But what if I told you that one of history's greatest philosophers had a guide for overcoming this very struggle? Imagine a powerful leader facing immense pressure, daily threats, and constant challenges. Yet, amidst all this, he maintained a calm, rational mind, free from the clutches of negativity. This leader was Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and a Stoic philosopher. In his personal writings, known as Meditations, he shared profound wisdom on how to master one's thoughts and emotions, especially the negative ones. Today, we will dive deep into Marcus Aurelius's teachings and explore practical ways to rewire our negative thinking patterns. By the end of this video, you'll have actionable steps to transform your mindset and cultivate inner peace, just like the Stoic Emperor himself. But before we continue, if you find value in this content, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Let's help each other navigate the ups and downs of life with wisdom and strength. Now, let's get started. One, practice mindfulness and self-reflection. Marcus Aurelius began each day by preparing his mind for the challenges ahead. In meditations, he often reminded himself to maintain awareness and reflect on his thoughts. He wrote, when you arise in the morning, Think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. Have you ever considered starting your day with a moment of reflection? Think about how much negativity could be avoided if you were mindful of your thoughts from the moment you wake up. By practicing mindfulness and self-reflection, you begin to notice when negative thoughts arise. Instead of letting them control your mood, you observe them as passing clouds. This is the first step in rewiring your mind. Marcus understood this well. He knew that to combat negative thinking, one must be constantly aware of it. So how can you implement this in your daily life? Daily Reflection At the end of each day, spend a few minutes reflecting on your thoughts and actions. Ask yourself, were my thoughts today helpful or harmful? Did I focus on the negative? or did I seek out the positive? By doing this, you become more aware of your thinking patterns and can start to identify when you are falling into negativity. Stay present. Negative thinking often stems from living in the past or worrying about the future. Instead, focus on the present moment. When you catch yourself drifting into negative thoughts, gently bring your attention back to the here and now. This practice, over time, can significantly reduce negative thinking. Two, focus on what you can control. Marcus Aurelius famously wrote, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This simple yet profound statement is a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy and a powerful tool for overcoming negative thinking. Think about a time when you felt overwhelmed by a situation outside of your control. Did dwelling on it help, or did it only make you feel worse? Often our negative thoughts are tied to things we cannot change, the weather, other people's actions, past mistakes, Marcus teaches us to distinguish between what is within our control and what is not. Here's how you can apply this principle. Accept what you can't control. Acknowledge that there are things in life you cannot change. By accepting this, you reduce anxiety and stress, which are often fueled by negative thinking. Direct energy toward actions. Focus on what you can control, your actions, reactions, and choices. For example, if you're worried about a presentation, concentrate on preparing thoroughly rather than worrying about how it will be received. This proactive approach helps shift your focus away from negativity and towards constructive action. 3. 
Reframe negative thoughts. Have you ever been told that it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters? This is a stoic principle that Marcus Aurelius lived by. He understood that our interpretations of events are often more distressing than the events themselves. Consider this. What if every challenge you faced was an opportunity in disguise? Marcus believed that every obstacle is a chance to practice virtue and grow stronger. Instead of viewing setbacks as purely negative, he saw them as opportunities to demonstrate courage, patience, and wisdom. To reframe your negative thoughts, try this. Challenge negative assumptions. When a negative thought arises, ask yourself, is this really true? What evidence do I have? Often our negative thoughts are based on assumptions rather than facts. By challenging them, you can begin to see things more clearly. View obstacles as opportunities. Instead of seeing challenges as threats, view them as opportunities to grow. For instance, if you lose a job, rather than dwelling on the loss, focus on what new opportunities this might open up for you. This shift in perspective can transform how you handle difficult situations and reduce negative thinking. Four, cultivate virtues like courage, justice, and temperance. Marcus Aurelius was a firm believer in living a virtuous life. He wrote, waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be, be one. What does it mean to cultivate virtues like courage, justice, and temperance in your daily life? It means acting with integrity, even when no one is watching. It means being fair, even when it's hard. It means exercising self-control, even when emotions run high. Why is this important for rewiring negative thinking? Virtues provide a framework for living a balanced life. When you focus on virtues, you are less likely to be swayed by negative emotions. Instead of reacting impulsively, you respond thoughtfully. Here's how you can cultivate virtues in your own life. Embrace courage, face your fears and challenges head on. When negative thoughts tell you to avoid or run away, courage helps you stand firm. Practice justice. Treat yourself and others fairly. Avoid self-criticism and harsh judgments. This promotes a more positive, constructive mindset. Apply temperance. Practice moderation in your thoughts and actions. Avoid extremes of self-pity or harsh self-criticism. Balance is key to a healthy mindset. Five, use rational thinking to counter negative emotions. Marcus Aurelius emphasized the importance of reason in guiding our actions. He believed that emotions, particularly negative ones, often cloud our judgment. If you are pained by external things, he wrote, it is not they that disturb you, but your own judgment of them, and it is in your power to wipe out that judgment now. How often do we let our emotions dictate our reactions? Imagine being stuck in traffic, it's easy to feel frustrated and angry, but Marcus would remind us that the traffic itself isn't causing our frustration, it's our perception of it. By using rational thinking, we can challenge our emotional responses and reduce negative thinking. To use rational thinking to counter negative emotions, consider these steps. Identify the emotion. Recognize when you are feeling a negative emotion such as anger, frustration, or sadness. Acknowledge it without judgment. Examine the evidence. Ask yourself, is this emotion based on fact or perception? Often, we find that our emotions are based on assumptions or interpretations, not facts. Reframe your thoughts. Replace irrational thoughts with rational ones. For example, instead of thinking, this traffic is ruining my day, try, this traffic is just a delay and I can use this time to listen to an interesting podcast. Six, embrace impermanence. Marcus Aurelius constantly reminded himself of the impermanence of life. 
He reflected on the fleeting nature of all things, understanding that everything has a season and nothing lasts forever. The universe is change. Our life is what our thoughts make it, he wrote. Why is embracing impermanence key to overcoming negative thinking? When you recognize that all things, including negative emotions and challenging situations, are temporary, you can approach them with a sense of calm. You understand that this too shall pass, and therefore you don't need to be overwhelmed by the present moment. Here's how to embrace impermanence in your daily life. Practice detachment. Understand that everything, both good and bad, is transient. This detachment can help you keep a balanced perspective in both joyous and difficult times. Focus on the present. By staying present, you reduce the tendency to ruminate on the past or worry about the future. This mindfulness helps prevent negative thinking patterns from taking hold. 7. Practice Gratitude and Positive Affirmations In his writings, Marcus Aurelius often reflected on the blessings in his life, no matter how small. He believed in the power of gratitude to cultivate a positive mindset and counter negative thinking. He suggested that we dwell on the beauty of life and remind ourselves of the good things we have. How often do we take time to appreciate what we have instead of focusing on what we lack? Practicing gratitude helps shift your focus from negative to positive thoughts. It rewires your brain to seek out the good in every situation, reducing the power of negative thinking. Here's how you can practice gratitude daily. Keep a gratitude journal. Write down three things you are grateful for each day. They can be as simple as a beautiful sunrise, a kind gesture, or a delicious meal. This practice helps train your mind to focus on the positive. Use positive affirmations. Start your day with positive affirmations like, I am capable, I am resilient, or I have the strength to overcome any challenge. These affirmations can help counter negative thoughts and build a positive mindset. Conclusion Rewiring negative thinking is not an overnight process. It requires practice, patience, and a commitment to change. But as Marcus Aurelius showed us through his writings, it is possible to cultivate a calm, rational mind, even in the face of adversity. By practicing mindfulness, focusing on what we can control, reframing our thoughts, cultivating virtues, using rational thinking, embracing impermanence, and practicing gratitude, we can gradually shift our mindset from negative to positive. Remember you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with others who might benefit. Together, let's build a community committed to growth, wisdom, and resilience. Until next time, keep striving to be the best version of yourself. Thank you for watching.